For nearly 40 years, Australia's World Solar Challenge has been a breeding ground for innovation in engineering. Seeing such an incredible opportunity come along to uh, expose the whole world to the possibility that everybody can drive down the road on sunshine. And with solar cars ready to race from Darwin to Adelaide on Sunday, the tradition of pushing boundaries continues. Things that are tested on this competition between university teams riding down the, the Sturt Highway on sunshine are actually ending up in the real world. Cars are put through their paces to ensure they meet regulations. And they're also judged on design. Estonia's Solar Ride awarded top marks for its innovative features, its air ventilation, its GPS and its energy saving functions. This year we spent a lot of uh, more time just uh, improving uh, the car's practicality, adding more features. It faced close competition. We also have a simply build um, mould print off, which essentially means that we have carbon layering and we can just take the mould off and the car's ready. The car is uh, a tribute to Ferrari because uh, it's red outside. International companies and sponsors see the race as a testing ground for new developments. This Dutch car uses perovskite solar cells, and competitors' tyres are made from mostly recycled materials. How fantastic is that, this circular economy of tyres, old ones being turned into new ones, and they're finding their way already onto, uh, onto production vehicles. Teams take off from Darwin on Sunday. Joseph Hathaway-Wilson, ABC News.